hear the train in the background. I guess he's what's up. Yeah, I need these other two. These are the, the, the dry peas. These are the green peas. You know, so you could you remember you could use these in soups, rice and peas, cook it by itself, you know, in a stew, whatever. You could do so much of the high in protein, vitamin A, vitamin C. Yep. Uh, so you know I'm gonna start the morning and spend you know, that's coming up and harvesting the, the, both the brown and the green. There's a lot of the, I'm going to leave a lot here to just dry, you know, because there's just so much you could eat. So once it dry, I'm going to come back, pick them off, you know, and then actually, you know, store them. Yeah, so this is how I'm actually harvesting this. Let's yank them right off. There's more here. These are the dry ones. And yeah, my son is actually holding the camera for me right now. Because I'll show you guys what the harvest. Bring it on our water. Come on. Looking for peas to harvest, you look for, you know, the, the, the pods. You know, the peas gonna be expanding in the pod. Right, this one's a little bit thin right here. Yeah, but if you look, let's let's find another one. Let's see, this is this is not ready yet. Based on the size, normally the peas gonna get. This is gonna expand. Let's, Go right here. Yeah, so see this, this uh, yeah, this is a, a good one. See the size of that? Even the color kind of changed. That color, you know, is, is ready to harvest. And when it's definitely dry, it can be a harvest. But for yeah, everything right here, this cluster right here could be harvest. But this cluster right here is that young, still, still developing. Yep, so. And you can know when it's ready by the size of the pea the, and the color, coloration of the pods also. Yep, these are probably going to be ready in a couple of weeks and stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to weigh these to see how many pounds of peas we got. All right. Show you guys this so much. Let me walk over here. You're gonna get this three. This is, these are full. These are a little bit smaller for some reason. I ah, know. So I'll prune this up and then probably get a better production from this. I'm gonna prune it up today and then use that. So you could use this in your compost. So these have a different color too. And this, this is what the bloom look like, right? The flowers, yeah, so this one is just flowing. This is a different variety. You see it have that purplish brownish color. That's just the color of the pods. It's the same pigeon peas. So there are a few different varieties of pigeon peas. So the trees loaded with blossoms. So I'm going to be having harvest from this right until maybe February, yeah. March, possible. Yep. This is it guys. On the great permaculture plants. Yeah, nitrogen fixing, provide a lot of food. Uh, blossom for the pollinators, you know, there's a lot of stuff, you know. Help create a shade for young, young trees as well. Yep. There's another one here. 
all full. Yeah, so I got a lot of harvesting to do. But today I'm just harvesting those two small containers. Yep, so thank you for watching. Have a great day.